Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how I made this card. Now it's very similar to the multi diamond point card and the triple diamond point card that I've done previously. However, I thought it might be quite a nice idea to stack it up and make a tree. So that's what we've done. So this is the card. Um, it's a top folding card. So there's your tree. Now before you actually had your message here, but on this one, your message is inside. So I've actually made like a separate card to put the message in. Um, so with this, I've used the Arctic Wonder papers um, from Trimcraft first edition. Uh, beautiful, beautiful papers. Um, and then just a random, a random uh, gre greeting that I had. And inside, this is from an old Dewcraft um, pack from about two or three years ago. Um, I'll link it in the description below if I can. Um, but yeah, it's a nice card. Um, I hope you like it. So let's get into it. Okay, so to make this card, you're going to need a 12 by 6, well, 6 by 12 uh, piece of card, like you did with the other two cards. Um, and then what you want to do is just score it down the middle to make a 6 by 6 card blank. Obviously, if you've already got a 6 by 6 card blank, that's fine. Just make sure that it is actually 6 by 6. Um, I've bought packs of cards that say 6 by 6 cards and envelopes, and actually... The envelopes are 6x6, six six, but the cards aren't. So just make sure that it's definitely 6x6 six six on the front, okay? So that's what you're going to do. So you're going to turn it round so it's a top opening tent fold card. Um, and then what we want to do is we're going to get our ruler and a pencil. And we're going to do the same thing as we did before for the other, for the multi diamond point card or multi point diamond card. I can't remember what I called it anyway. I'll put a link at the top there for it. Um, and so we're just going to go along the, the centre fold and we're going to make a mark at two inches and we're going to make a mark at four inches. And we're going to do the same at the bottom. So make a mark at two inches and make a mark at four inches. And then we're just going to cut down. So I use you can use a trimmer. If you've got a sharp trimmer, you can use that. If not, just use a craft knife and a metal rule. And we're just going to go down and cut from that centre line down to the bottom mark, marrying up those two marks like that. And the same on this side here. And then what we're going to do, turn the card round and we're going to cut down the centre line, just taking off this top finger and this bottom finger. Okay, so we're just going to cut those two off. So you should end up with that. Okay, now if you want to, like mine, I've got a bit of a, an edge at the top. I'm just going to neaten that off a little bit. Because sometimes, because you've got a score line there, you just need to just get rid of that score line. So I'm just going to get rid of that score line. And just meeting it up a tiny bit. Okay. Right, so that's what you should end up with. Okay. Okay, so what you want to do now is take your two strips that you've cut off and you're going to cut them into three two by two squares. So in the end, you end up with six in total two by two squares. Okay, so you should end up with that and obviously your card blank. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start with the, um, the card blank itself. So I'm just going to put these squares to one side. So... Unlike, so with the last one we did, with the multi-point diamond card and the um, other one, the triple diamond, was it triple diamond point card? Um, with those, what we did next was we put in a matte layer and then a pattern layer and then we did a matte and pattern on here. We're going to do it sort of similar but slightly different. So for the front, you're going to need a matte layer that is one and three quarters by five and three quarters and a pattern layer that's one and a half by five and a half. So I'm going to go ahead now and just stick those down on top of each other and then stick them onto the front of the card. OK, 
Okay, so you're left with that. So that's what you should end up with. So then for the inside, we're going to do something slightly different. You will need a matte layer that is five and five and um, three quarters by five and three quarters, like you have done before. Okay, so we can go ahead and stick that down. But slightly different to how we've done it before, we're going to, and again, if you want to, you can just put a pattern straight in. But I decided to do something a little bit different on the inside, um, just also because of the paper choice, because I wanted a busy paper behind my tree. Um, and so that being said, you then wouldn't be able to write on it. So I thought, let's make like a little mini card blank inside the actual card so that's what we're doing now so we're just going to put this tape on here um, and stick this down and then we're going to make a little mini card blank that will go on top of this matte layer so let's just stick this down Okay, so what you're going to need for your little mini internal card blank um, is a piece of pattern paper. Now you can choose pattern paper that's just patterned on one side and it's blank on the other, or like I have, it's patterned on both sides. Okay, I've gone for this one because I quite like the fact, I quite like that Merry Christmas, Season's Greetings, I thought that was quite nice. So this needs to be five and a half by 11, okay, and you're going to score it in half at five and a half. And that means that when you fold it up, if you've got um, a right way up pattern, you need to make sure it's a top folding card. OK, um, so make sure your pattern goes the right way. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to stick that onto there. And then that means that this then will open up. And yes, that's dark inside, but I'm going to stick a little um, message place inside. OK, so I'm going to go ahead now and stick that down. OK, so there we go. We've stuck down that and I'm just going to go ahead and stick this inside um, and then I know that that is done. Now, obviously, if you want to um, and I did look at using maybe a, a paper that was only single sided, so it would be white inside. But actually, I quite like this dark green, especially as I've got that dark green on the tree. So um, I thought that, you know what, I'm going to. Um, go for the dark green inside and I will just go ahead and put a little um, thing inside it right so there we go so you end up with that so now we can turn our attention to the front of the card so we can put this to one side for the moment you need to bring in your squares that you had before your little two by two squares you've got six of them okay and on the front of these squares you are going to stick six matte layers that are one and three quarter by one and three quarter and six pattern layers that are one and a half by one and a half so you need to stick your pattern to your mat and your mat to your squares so we're going to go ahead and do that now Okay, so that's what you should end up with. Six little squares that are matte and layered. So next we're going to go ahead and put them on. Now I've arranged mine already. Obviously they're going to be on their edge, but um, just so you can see, um, you know, where they're all going to be. Okay, so I'm going to put the top one out of the way and the middle two out of the way. And we're going to concentrate on the bottom layer first. So bring your card back in again. And what you're going to do is the same thing you did for the bottom layer of your other card. So you want to take your um, ruler and lay it down onto your card. And I found that measure this, this width of ruler, if you line this bottom edge up with the mat, that works out about right. Um, and then you're going to lay your card on, making sure that your bottom edge doesn't go over the bottom, your side bit doesn't go over the side. Um, and then you're just going to work out, in fact, I need to bring it down a little bit, work out where you're going to put it, work out, make sure it's nice and straight. When you're happy with where it is, you can go ahead 
just remove that like that take your pencil make a little mark now this time around you can actually make quite a big mark okay like that and then we're going to stick some tape on so there we go so that's that one done then we need to do the one on this side so that one's going to go like that and again just to make sure that you're definitely straight because i was down a little bit on the edge just bring your ruler in and then you can see that your points are level so we'll do that there like that and draw around the edge again touch that's it and then we're going to go ahead and put some tape on that and stick that down so that's what you end up with now what you want to do next is you can decide if you want to put this one on next or if you want to do the, the next level i'm actually going to do the next level and then do this one kind of on the top because i feel like that's going to be a better option um it just gets a bit tricky otherwise because i feel like oh, actually i don't know you could have it down you have that there and then you have this on top there and then that on top there yeah i think i'll leave it on the bottom so i'm going to stick all of these flat i don't think i'm going to put any pads on for this um just because i just feel like it's a bit tricky so what i'm going to do now is just going to lay my ruler down and i'm going to line up with these points at the top here because that's where my next point will be and i'm just going to make a little mark at the three there and also along the bottom at three here. And then I know where my top and bottom points have to be. Now obviously this is gonna stick straight down. So for that reason, we can just go ahead and put tape on. Um, if you start adding foam pads, which you can do, you might end up with a very, very thick card. So I think foam pads would be nice to raise them up, like especially with this one. It would be good to be able to raise it up. However, I do think that you might end up with a lot of foam pads by the time, you, like three layers, by the time you get to, maybe even more than that actually, by the time you get to the top one. So for that reason, I'm not going to add any foam pads. I'm just going to do it as a flat card um, because I want to put my greeting that will go on the front. I want to put that on pads. So I think I could end up with a, with a car that's like four layers high, minimum, if I go down the, the pad route. So we're going to get our little square, marry up the top and bottom marks like that, and stick it down. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to find halfway uh, kind of here and here. These are going to go like that, but I want these points to go through halfway. So I'm just going to turn this round and on here, I'm just going to, I'm actually going to do it on the pattern side. Just make a tiny little mark there and a tiny little mark over here, which hopefully you're not really going to see. You can rub it out if you want to. It's just a guide for me really. So I know where halfway is. So halfway cuts just over the top of that green stripe. So if that's the case, I'm going to put this on and we know that that's halfway. So actually what we can do is I want to overlap them slightly though. So I'm actually going to bring it. Hmm, it should really be there, but I feel like it needs to overlap. So I'm going to bring it in a little bit like that, I think um okay so just just jiggle your little squares around and see where you want them to be i'm going to make the top point go through here go through there i think and then this one will sit on the top and in fact i might raise it up a little bit as well i might go up a little bit so forget the halfway lines because i've gone past that now but i think probably about there just jiggle it around see what you think looks right 
Do you know what I mean? Like you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Um, I'm just giving you a guide. And I'm just going to draw down here and down here because that's all going to be covered up. Um, and then with this one, we just need to make sure we only stick really from about there down. In fact, I'm going to put the tape onto the actual card itself because I think that would be more helpful. Okay, so that's that one down. So now we're going to concentrate on this one. Same again. Just make sure that your top points are kind of in the same kind of place. Um, and this time I think I might just have to make a little mark here. I don't want to be able to see this because you will be able to see this if I'm not, care not too careful. That bit there. And then a little mark down here maybe. And about there that so I can sort of see where that's going to go okay so that's what we're up to so far so now we're going to add the final piece on and this one, I'm just going to make sure that it is central at the top there, nice and straight, and that the top doesn't go past the top of that there. okay that's that so now what we can do is go ahead and add our greeting okay so i went ahead and i added um a greeting on it um just one that i already had and also add some little gems on it as well and so yeah so that's your card so just obviously that opens up and then you open this bit up you can write in there really nice and uh, i mean relatively simple it's not that simple but it's it's relatively simple but yeah, I hope you like it and um, hope you have a go. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. Um, yeah, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye.